pocket. Captain Dumbletwit pressed a button and an enormous tennis racket sprung out of the side of his spaceship. Grandpa was reading me a Captain Dumbletwit story. He was going as fast as he could because any minute Mum was going to start up again on her latest hobby. Mum's always taking up new hobbies. One week it's karate, then it's salsa dancing, then cake decorating, the ukulele, Knitting. <laughs> opera singing. <laughs> and now this. <laughs> yes, Mum was learning to play a tuneful toot on the trumpet. It was making our ears hurt, even Beowulf's. Oh, I don't know why Mum chose the trumpet. There are loads of instruments here, much easier to play. Triangles, tambourines, maracas. <laughs> it's a good job I'm going out this afternoon. Grandpa was going to meet his friends at the Young at Heart Club. Once a month, they meet at Miss Smiley's Cafe for ice cream sundaes and a sing-song with Mr Whoops. But today, there was a bit of a problem. Hello, it's Miss Smiley here. I've got a bit of a problem and I was wondering if you could help. I'll try. Must be time to go. I wonder what we'll sing today. Sunny sands, sunny sands, it's a great place to be. Bad news, I'm afraid. Mr Whoops has fallen over his keyboard and broken it. So he won't be able to play for the sing song. But the good news is, wait for it. Miss Smiley has asked me to play instead, on the trumpet! You'll have to come with us, Jason. I know. We'll take all the instruments, in case anyone wants to join in. Actually, uh, I don't think I'm up to the young at hearts today. I, I'm, I'm feeling a bit tired, you know. Oh, no, Grandpa, what a shame. And you so love your sing-song. Get ready, Jason. I'll put some lipstick on and then we'll go. Grandpa, you've got to come. Mum's going to need our help. Couldn't agree more. And I'll be a lot more help to her if I'm small. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of magical things. Get it to my car and make it go. Or he could just run for all he's worth. I couldn't find Grandpa anywhere. Don't forget the instrument box, Jason. Where's Grandpa? Gone for a little lie down, I expect. That's what everyone thinks when Grandpa goes missing. They don't know about the shrinking cap. So we got into Campo and set off for Miss Smiley's cafe. And Mum said... I've never played the trumpet in public before. I'm so excited. And I said, aren't you a bit nervous? And Mum said... Oh, <laughs> no! Such a pity Grandpa can't make it. Poor thing, he spends so much time stuck indoors. But Grandpa wasn't planning to be stuck indoors today. I was sure he was on his way. I just didn't know how. Soon we arrived at Miss Smiley's Cafe, which, as you know, is the best cafe in the world. The young at heart were just finishing their ice cream sundaes and were ready for their sing-song to begin. Mum was warming up in the toilet. Do you think she's all right? Yes, um, just doing some last-minute practice. Oh, of course. Oh, won't be long now, I promise. Perhaps I'd better hurry her up. I was wondering where Grandpa was, but I didn't have to wonder for long because he was in the instrument box playing the maracas. Of course, I had to pretend it was me. I quickly took the box behind the curtains and opened it up. Oh, thank goodness it's you. 
It was getting really stuffy in there. How's it going? Not very well. Mama's making strange noises in the toilet. Well, you can't keep the young at hearts waiting any longer. You'll have to start the sing-song yourself. Me? So before I knew it, there I was on the stage, about to sing. Sunny sands, sunny sands, it's a great place to be. It's sunny and it's sandy and it's right by the sea. There's a beach from here to here, you can stroll along the pier. There's a cafe for a bite to eat, enjoy your ice cream sundae treats. Suddenly I saw Grandpa. I couldn't see how he was going to help Mum from up there. But there was no time to find out, because she was ready at last. And she was looking very excited. Thank you for starting us off, Jason. That was wonderful. But now it's time for the star of today's show. I give you... Jason's mum on the trumpet! <laughs> mum took a bit of time to get herself completely ready. We all held our breath and waited for her to play. At last, she put the trumpet to her lips and... <laughs> then she tried again and... <laughs> Grandpa was signalling to me. Um, I think it might be better over this side, Mum. There's, um, there, there's more light. Oh, OK. I had no idea what Grandpa was up to, but he definitely had a plan. Mum tried again, but all that came out was... <laughs> oh, I don't understand. It sounded really good at home. I think it must be broken. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't think I can play. No, I... Mum was giving up, and I didn't know what else I could do. But Grandpa did. At last, I knew why he needed to be small to help. You must try again, Mum. Please try blowing really gently. Go on. OK, just for you. So Mum put the trumpet to her mouth again and blew very gently. And guess what? She played an amazing tune. But of course, it wasn't Mum playing at all. It was Grandpa making a trumpet sound. Sunny sounds, sunny sounds, it's a great place to be. It's sunny and it's sandy and it's right by the sea. There's a beach from here to here, you can stroll along the pier. There's a cafe for a bite to eat, enjoy a nice few Sunday treats. Sunny sounds, sunny sounds, it's the only Once Mum, or rather Grandpa, had started, there was no stopping them. Sunny sands, sunny sands, it's a great place to stay. The houses feel so pretty and the sun shines every day. There's a lighthouse on the shore, oh who could ask for more? A toy shop for your buttons and space. don't forget your hat and chase. Sunny sands, sunny sands, it's the only place to go. Hearts loved it. Mum was so happy, she decided to play a fanfare. She forgot all about blowing gently and blew as hard as she could. Luckily, the young at hearts were so busy clapping, they didn't see this. <laughs> Are you all right, Grandpa? Yes, fine, thanks. Just a bit of a sore throat. <laughs> I kept Grandpa safely in my pocket until we got home. I ran inside before anyone else. Put him on the floor. 
Grandpa quickly whipped off his cap and came back to his normal size. We did it, Jason. Teamwork, eh? Yes, Grandpa. Teamwork! <laughs> there you are, Grandpa. How are you feeling? Any better? Oh, not too bad. A bit thirsty. Me too. All that playing. I'll make a cup of tea. Such a shame you couldn't be there. It went ever so well, didn't it, Jason? It was fantastic. There's nothing I like better than a tuneful toot on a trumpet. <laughs> Grandpa, you're so clever. That's exactly how my trumpet playing sounded. Fancy that. <laughs> With our magic and turn the world hairy. Oh, how tricky! We run out of spells in our hairy fairy tree. But they don't care, they, they love to be hairy. The ha ha Harry's finding all the laughter in hairy land. Ma, ha, and Minnie. And don't forget there's Nana. And Chihuahua, the hairy pet. But <laughs> up on the hill in Chateau Shampoo, there's Boris Boo Hoo. And Boris too. Boris is trouble, you wait and see But they don't care, they love to be hairy Bum, 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 bum Uh, Wiggy, what are you doing? I'm making up a new drum beat Bum, 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 bum Oh, hi there <laughs> Wave, Chris Oh, hi Shall I play you my new drum beat? Mm, I have a feeling this is going to be loud. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, it was loud. Loud is good. Well, not always. Remember that time Marla... Oh, I know, I know. Let me tell them. But I wanted to tell... Oh, we were flying around Hairyland on our Papa Picky looking for adventure. Papa Picky, Papa Picky, Papa Picky, 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 Papa me round Hairyland, round Hairyland. <laughs> I am quick and I am wiggy with, with a hairy fairy band. And the best place for adventure is usually the Ha Ha Harry's garden. Here we go. We landed in the flower bed. Everyone was having a quiet time. And Ma was pegging out the family washing. Well, you know what Ma's like. Ma ha ha. She's got a heart of gold. A heart of gold. A heart of gold. She's always having fun. There's fun for everyone. Under the hairy sun. She's got a heart of gold. Mom's got a heart of gold. A heart of gold. <laughs> Look, Nana's pants. Wiggy, what's so funny about... <laughs> oh, OK, they're funny. <laughs> but now Ma was going to do something just for herself. <laughs> she was going to play the tootle tub. Ma began to blow. <laughs> Chihuahua didn't like the terrible noise. And Nana and Pa didn't like the terrible noise. So they went inside. <laughs> and even Minnie didn't like the terrible noise. So she took Chihuahua to gather hairy hedge nuts. Because this was... The day Ma had a terrible time with the tootle tub. Up on the hill at Chateau Shampoo, someone else didn't like the noise. Can you guess who? Boris Boohoo, what's he gonna do? Who? Boise quite liked it. But Boris thought it was the most terrible noise he'd ever heard. Ever, ever, ever! What 
was it? He picked up his hairy starey. And saw Mahaha with the tootle tuck. How dare she make such a noise when he was trying to relax? Boris went off in a temper. The kind of temper that makes you trip over your own feet. <laughs> but Boris had an idea and he set off for the Ha Ha Harry's garden. Ma was still playing the tootle tub when Boris tippy-toed into the garden and hid behind the bumblebee bush. All that tootle tub playing had made Ma thirsty. So she went inside for a cup of hairy pear juice. Hanaba. Oh, nits! Now Boris can get at the tootle tub. Boris had an idea that he thought would stop the tootle tub from making such a terrible noise. He took out a bottle of Boohoo shampoo and poured it into the tootle tub. One of a lash! Ma came back. Boris hit. And when Ma started to play again, very loud bubbles floated out of the tootle tub. It made her laugh and laugh. But Boris was furious. Ma started playing again. But then she felt hungry. So she went inside for a piece of hairy pear pie. Boris needed another idea to stop the terrible noise. Oh, Nick, here he goes again. Boris needed something to block up the tootle tub. He had an idea. I bet I know what Boris is going to use. Me too, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Nana's pants. He whipped them off the washing line and stuffed them into the tootle tub. Ma came back out again with some hairy pear pie. And Boris hid. She started to play again. She blew. And blew. But no noise came out. Nana's pants had done the trick. But then, Mahaha took a deep breath and blew with all her heart. And Nana's pants flew out of the tootle tub and onto <laughs> Boris. <laughs> Nana's pants, Nana's pants. <laughs> wow, Wiggy, control yourself. Oops. Boris pulled the pants off his head and threw them. Ma thought Nana's pants had blown off the washing line. She thought it was hilarious. But Boris was more furious than ever. He had to stop Ma playing. He needed a plan. <laughs> Boris needs a plan, a plan. He needs a plan as quick as he can. He needs to plan a big surprise. He needs to plan his next disguise. What'll it be? What'll it be? What'll it be? The music teacher. Bara -la -la. Ah! Boo. So back he went to the Ha Ha Harry's garden. <laughs> Ma was so excited. Peter Pianissimo, the music teacher, had come to listen to her playing the tootle tub. Then Minnie came back with the hairy head nets. She was so excited, she did a cartwheel. <laughs> so what's Boris's plan, Chris? Not a hairy clue. Peter Pianissimo told Ma to play. <laughs> and everyone listened. And it was still a terrible noise. And Peter Pianissimo did this. <laughs> He told Ma to stop, stop, stop! No more tootles are playing ever again! Poor Ma felt very sad. She'd so wanted to play an instrument. 
Then, Peter Pianissimo had another idea. He picked up Minnie's comb and the paper napkin from Ma's plate. He handed it to Ma and told her to play the comb and paper instead. So Ma played the comb and paper and everyone listened. Peter Pianissimo said it was absolutely fantastic! Bravo! Boris's plan had worked! No more tootle to playing for Ma! Au Oh, Nit! <gasps> Hide! Minnie's coming! Minnie was coming towards us. She picked up the bottle. What was that doing there? Back at Chateau Shampoo, Boris couldn't hear Ma's comb and paper playing at all. <sighs> so he lay down to have a rest. Back in the garden, Nana had an idea. And her idea was to do this. Yep, Nana started to boing the elastic on her pants. Then Minnie had an idea. She'd shake the hairy hedge nuts in the bottle. Boris couldn't believe his ears. What was that noise? And then Pa started to play the tootle tub. Pa's amazing. Boris isn't going to like this. And Boris didn't like it. Not one hairy bit. And just when he thought it couldn't get any worse... Boise started to join in too! Really, really loudly! Why is it that Boris never learns? Search me. I bet if he just asked Ma to play more quietly, she wouldn't have minded. Quilith, shall I teach you to play the drums? OK. I'll give it a go. <laughs> come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> OK, ready? It's easy. Bom, 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 bitty, bom, bom, bom. <sighs> bom, 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 bitty, bom, bom, bom. Oh, not bad. Now play it louder. <laughs> bom, 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 bitty, bom, bom, bom. Yeah, loud is good, louder. <laughs> I don't think I can go any louder, Wiggy. <laughs> 